Have you ever thinked of how does a cell tower works? When a mobile device such as a smartphone or tablet communicates with a cell tower, the device sends and receives radio frequency signals over the airwaves. The cell tower then relays the signal to the cellular network, which in turn relays the signal to the receiving device. Transceivers are the electronic components that convert the radio frequency signals into digital data. That can be transmitted over the cellular network. And power supply the cell tower requires a constant supply of power to operate, which is typically provided by a local power grid or backup generator. When a mobile device, such as a smartphone or tablet, moves from one place to another while communicating with a cell tower, the device automatically connects to the nearest cell tower. This is because the cellular network is designed to constantly monitor the signal strength and quality of the connection, and to switch the device to the nearest available cell tower when necessary. As the mobile device moves away from the current cell tower, the signal strength and quality may start to deteriorate. The device then begins to search for nearby cell towers that have a stronger signal, and when it finds one, it switches to that tower. The process of switching between cell towers is known as handover, and it is an essential part of the cellular network. The handover process is designed to be seamless, so that users can move around and continue to use their devices without interruption. When a mobile device switches to a new cell tower, it sends a signal to the new tower to establish a connection. The new tower then sends a signal to the old tower, informing it to release the connection. Once the old tower releases the connection, the new tower takes over the communication with the mobile device. Overall, the cellular network is designed to provide seamless connectivity to mobile devices as they move from one location to another. This is achieved through a complex system of cell towers and handover processes that work together to ensure that users can stay connected no matter where they go. There are 6.92 billion smartphone users in the world according to Statista in year 2023, it means 86.29% of the world's population owns a smartphone. This figure is up considerably from 2016, when only 3.668 billion users were 49.40% of that year's global population. And 7.93 billion people have mobile phones in the world. It indicates 91.40% of people own mobile phones today in 2023 including both smart and feature phones. The number of smartphone mobile network subscriptions worldwide reached almost 6.6 .6 billion in 2022, and is forecast to exceed 7.8 billion by 2028. China, India, and the United States are the countries with the highest number of smartphone mobile network subscriptions. 148 billion mobile connections worldwide which surpasses the current world population of 8.019 billion implied by UN digital analyst estimates. That means there are 3.129 billion more mobile connections than people worldwide. With a staggering 1.5 million cell towers illuminating the world, it's clear that our reliance on mobile technology has skyrocketed in recent years. Are you tired of scouring the internet for quality content that speaks to you? Look no further, because my YouTube channel has everything you need and more. From informative videos to entertaining content, I pour my heart and soul into each and every upload. To make things even better, subscribing to my channel means you'll never miss a beat. You'll receive notifications for new videos and be the first to get exclusive content. Thanks for watching, if you liked this video and want to see more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button 